how to set up game booster settings for best performance on the Samsung Galaxy S25, S25 Plus or the S25 Ultra. First tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. Now from the home screen, swipe down at the top to open up quick settings. In here tap on the settings icon. Next, we then scroll down and tap on advanced features. Now in here, scroll down then tap on game booster settings. Now at the top is the game optimization. Tap on that will allow you to change between performance, balance or battery saver. For best performance, you can select performance. After that, you can go down and tap on customizations for individual games. So in here, it allows you to customize specific settings for each of the different games. So let's say for PUBG Mobile, when playing PUBG Mobile, you want to customize your game optimization to high performance. Then for FPS, you want to increase it all the way up to 60. Screen res resolution, again, we're going to increase it to a maximum 100%. And for frame booster, you want to turn on as well. And after that, tap on save. So for the PUBG Mobile, we want to have the highest performance possible. For say math kits in here, uh, for performance, we can choose battery saver. FPS, we can set at a low 20. Screen resolution, again, you can increase it to say 70 if you wanted to. And we don't really need to uh, increase the game, the frame booster for math kits, so we can leave it off and then tap on save. So in here, you can customize uh, the settings for each of the apps, the different settings for each of the apps in here. After that, uh, we can go to gaming motion smoothness. In here, you can set the gaming refresh rate or the screen or the display refresh rate to 120 hertz for a smoother animation. Or you can set it to 60 hertz for uh, so that the phone uses uh, less uh, battery. So if you want to have the highest or the best performance, you can choose 120 hertz. If you're more concerning with the battery, you can select a lower frame rate or the refresh rate. Here we tap on the back uh, key. And in here, there is an option called U Pulse, USB uh, power delivery charging when gaming. So in here, you can plug the phone into a power charger. Once you plug it into a charger, this option becomes available. So here's a to prevent overheating, bypass the battery when using a USB power delivery charger. So essentially you are playing, uh, when you are playing game, the phone will use the power directly from your charger instead of uh, spinning the power from your battery and then the phone is trying to charge up the battery. So the power is coming directly from your USB cable. So here, so you can turn it off or you can switch it on. So here's a pause USB uh, power delivery charging when gaming and after that we can go down and select quick action button in here you can set the in-game panel quick action button to touch protection navigation button lock screenshot record or none the next option is where to access the in-game panel in here you can choose shortcuts bar or navigation bar now, if you select navigation bar, you can see when I launch my game. So here is the game. So let's see if I can open up this one. So we go to the gaming hub and we launch a game. So if I can launch, uh, say, uh, Roblox. So I'm trying to see if I can open up Roblox here. Okay, so close that and then open up Roblox. Here, yeah, if in a navigation bar, if I tap on that button, this will launch up the game booster. And in here, you can see I can access this in-game panel or the game booster from the navigation bar. Now I can also change it so that it will display as a shortcut. So here I tap on shortcut bar and I go back to my game. This time in my navigation bar, it has removed that gaming icon. Instead, I can swipe across like this to access the game booster. So that is the shortcut. So you can change uh, the behavior to a shortcut here or a, um, a shortcut placed on your navigation bar. 
Okay, so if I go back into the menu, the next item is the reorder tools. So in here, you can reorder the tools item. So if I go into my games, and in here, you can see in here it has the tools, and these are all the available tools in the game booster. So we can change that. We can change all of these items around, reordered. So if I go back into settings, just simply touch and hold. So let's say if you um, take a lot of screenshots, you may want to place it at the top of the list. Next, the record button. So touch and hold. And then you can either drag it up or down and place it in a new position. So if I go over to my game here, you can see I have now reorder my tools items. So we've got screenshot, record, and then touch booster. So here it is. So that corresponds to the list in here. Okay, so if we go back out here, we've got edit pop-up apps. In here, you can add or remove the pop-up apps in the game booster. So what it does is it allow in the game booster, it allows you to launch any apps while you're playing game. So if I'm playing a game, so at the moment I'm playing a game in here already, I'm in Roblox. So if I pull out my game booster in game panel, I can tap on pop-up apps. So I can tap on the tab there, or I can swipe across. Here I can launch an app. So while playing game, I still can launch an app. I can have it floating on top of my game. Once I start to play music, I'll just lower down the volume. Here I can then collapse it to make it, I can make it float around the screen, or I can simply uh, minimize it or close it. So closing that pop-up does not necessarily mean it will close the app. The app still runs on the background. It's just simply closing the pop-up. Here I can go back into settings. And so this um, edit uh, list here allow you to add or remove apps to that pop-up. So here I can tap on add apps. And in here I can say add in Audible and then tap on done. So if I go back in here, you can see now Audible has been added to my pop-up apps. So I've got audio here. I can also tap on the edit button directly from this pop-up which allow me to remove uh, items in here. So we've got assistant. So to remove an items in here, you need to go into add apps and at the top, swipe across and remove any apps that you, do, that you do not want to show in the list. And then tap on done, and then tap on the back key. So if I go back here, you can see in power apps, it now has removed some of the apps I have uh, deleted just then. Okay, so that's that. Now we go back to settings again. And down here, we've got the auto touch protection. So tapping on that will allow you to change the auto touch protections. So you can set it to 15 seconds, which is the lowest settings, and then all the way up to 10 minutes or never. By default, it is set to three minutes. The next settings is the save power during touch protection. So here it reduces the frame rate for games while touch protection is active. So you can enable or disable this feature. The next uh, section is the screenshot section. When you are taking a screenshot, you can set the resolution at 100%, 50% or 25%. And here we've got the screenshot format. You can save it as a JPEG screenshot or HEIF format. Lastly is the notifications. In the app notifications, you can choose to turn off or turn on sound and vibration for Game Booster. You can also display the not notifications on the lock screen by selecting the checkbox here, or you can hide it by deselecting the items. That goes the same for notification panel, so you can choose to show or hide um, Game Booster uh, notifications on the notification panel. And that's it. After that, tap on the back key. And that is the whole game booster settings. Once you have set up your game booster settings, you can then apply it or you can activate it. So here, when you're playing game, you can pull out your game booster settings. And here, you can take a screenshot. You can record. So you can record your video. Uh, you can block the edge panel. You can turn on touch protection or block auto brightness and so on. 
here you can see performance game optimization has been set to performance so if you want to change that you can go into settings up here as well and we change performance back to balance here we can see that it will now change it back to balance and that's it thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos